Hey all, welcome back to my channel. This will be the fifth video from the Microsoft Defender for Cloud App series. The agenda of today's session will be understanding the risk level of the application which are discovered from a network. We'll also understand about what are the different risk factors based on which the apps are flagged the risk score. In my last video, I had discussed about how to discover and manage shadow IT in your network. I'll give the link here. Please watch that video if you have not already watched and come back so that you will be able to relate on what I am seeing right now. So once the app are discovered from a network, the next step is to identify the risk level of your apps. There is a feature within Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps called as Cloud App Catalog. The Microsoft team of analysts has an extensive and continuously growing catalog of over 31,000 applications that are ranked and scored based on industry standards. So these applications are assessed over 90 risk factors. You can use the Cloud App Catalogs to rate the risk of your Cloud Apps based on regulatory certificates or industry standard and best practices. You can also customize the score and weights of various parameters of your organization needs. And based on these score, different for cloud apps let you to know how risky an app is which you have discovered from either of uh, firewall logs or from different for endpoint in your Windows 10 machine. Now scoring is based on 90 risk factors that might affect your environment. Now this Cloud App Catalog, it contains only the application which are publicly available in the cloud. Now think of a scenario where you have to assess the application which is in build or which is uh, created in your enterprise like LOB application and if you have to analyze based on either usage or way from which IB addresses the users are using the application or the traffic you have to analyze the traffic logs so if you wanted to analyze the LOV application you have to make sure that these applications are also part of these 31,000 application which is there in the Defender for Cloud Apps catalog so for this there is an option in Defender for Cloud Apps where you can add new custom application in the portal. I switch to the portal to show you the demo on how to add this custom application and also where to see these cloud app. So if you expand on discover and if you go to the cloud app catalog, so here it lists all the applications. So if you see here, there are 31,457 applications which are present in the Defender for Cloud Apps and there is a risk score which is flagged for each applications. The score is from 0 to 10 where 0 is the most risky application and 10 is the least risky application. Now apart from these applications which are which are existing in the Defender for Cloud Apps, if you wanted to analyze your LOB applications, what you can do, you can go to Discovered Apps and under Action, there is an option where you can add a new custom application. If you click on this, uh, here are some set of details which you have to give. You can just give the app name, app description, category, in which category the app belong to if it is part of account and finance or advertising or if it is like part of business intelligence so based on which category the app belongs to you can give the details and give the ip v4 address and which is the hosting platform if whether it is amazon web service azure or if it is some other hosting platform and you can also give the business unit which unit this app belong to and also you can assign a risk score for this application so, so the scenario will be, uh, for example, if you have an application called as my Azure application, so any user or any user who are part of your enterprise is trying to access this application. So you can say based on the risk parameters, what risk score should be assigned and it will give a score for uh, the application which the user is accessing. Once you give these details, you can click on add an app. 
and if you go back to cloud app catalog and search for the application which you have added you will be able to find the application here so if you see here since i have added the category in advertising it shown here and there is a uh, by default whichever application which we are adding as a custom it will be tagged under custom app and if you see here these are the risk score which i had assigned to the application and these are the different different actions you can perform as an admin so if you wanted to sanction or unsanction this application so that users either they if you have to block the access you can unsanction the application and also if you wanted to override the app score so existing score is uh, nine if you wanted to override the app score just click on override app and just give the score and uh, you'll be able to override this application score now going back to cloud app category as i said before these applications are assessed over 90 risk factors and these risk factors it start from uh, general information and there are different categories of uh, risk factors based on which the risk is assigned so it has general security compliance and legal so starting with general so this gives general information about the app uh, which refer the basic information something like where is the headquarters of the application which data center which is which is the domain of the application and uh, is there what is the logon url and if if the domain is registered which is the founded year so basically in short this shows the stability of the company in the most basic level next if you look at the security these are the different parameters or different risk factors by which the security risk is analyzed and the score is given for the application so this basically it includes all the factors which are related to security it can be encryption of the application so which protocol the application use or it also looks for whether multi-factor authentication is enabled for the application so uh, if it is green it means that these uh, these regulation are supported by the application if it if you have a cross mark which means that these these uh, risk or this regulation is not supported by the application now next is compliance it check whether the apps are certified as compliant with your organization standard such as uh, you know hipaa or soc 2 or uh, soc 3 and so these applications should be compliant with these regulations or standard if it doesn't match these application then it will be marked as a non-compliant application next is legal risk factor in legal risk factor this ensure that data protection and privacy of the users who are accessing the applications like uh, data ownership data retention gdpr so these are all different parameters so if you hover on the i button it will tell you what does this uh, this factor does and what is the weightage in the category so overall it actually gives a 14 percentage of weightage in in this category of the legal and according to defender for cloud app scoring algorithm each property whichever is showing here each property it receives a preliminary score between 0 and 10 so matching the value where it is true or false so if it is green which means that it is true and based on this value it will receive a score as either 10 and 0 all matching values will create a total score of the application which is which see here this is the total score of the application so where if you have any application which the score as 0 which means that it is the least score and if it is 10 it is the best score of the application which mean which means that uh, these application with the score 10 it will be uh, compliant to all the standards and regulations of the uh, of the company if you wanted to see the apps with lower risk you can just move the slider here and the filter will be applied and any apps which is having a risk score of 4 will be showing here and if you wanted to check the uh, the more detailed 
on the risk factors of this application you can just expand this and it will tell you which are the which are the factors which are not supported and which are not which are supported and which is the uh, which is the data which is not uh, available so based on this a score will be given and totals and based on all these different different risk factors a total score will be given for the application if you wanted to request for a, a score update of the application so there is an option where you can request for the score update and when you initiate this request the microsoft defender for cloud apps analytics team they will rescan the application and it will update the score if any of these uh, risk factors are updated and also you can you have an option to override the app score also where you can send the request if for example if the application the risk score is 4 you wanted to update the app risk score to uh, 5 or 6 based on the parameters the team will analyze and it, it will update the uh, risk risk score and you have an option to sanction or unsanction this application so if you see the risk score is less than 5 you can create a policy from defender for cloud apps console itself and you can say that any application which is less than score 4 should be unsanctioned so that user will not be able to access that application you can also customize the risk score if you say here in this disaster recovery plan uh, property so the weightage or the weight in the category is 20 percentage you have an option to customize this where uh, or for any of the properties so if you go to settings and score metrics so you can modify the default weight to given to the uh, cloud discovery score configuration and if you if you see here for example if you pick the founder year the importance can be uh, you can slide the importance either you can you can make it to ignore you can make it to low medium high or you can make it to very high now what this does is that when you change the importance the weight also gets changed and based on which the risk which is uh, the score which is uh, applied or score which is flagged to the application also will will be changed so you can set whether certain values are either or either not available or not applicable in the score calculation so when you uh, include this not applicable value what happens this will have a negative contribution to the calculator store so it's always recommended to exclude the not applicable values which are there which uh, applicable values of the property of the uh, applications when you change the importance of these uh, these properties score where you have you are configuring your own preference and priorities for each app property and when you customize this the overall score which is get uh, get flagged to the application also will get changed that was all about understanding the risk level of uh, your application now quickly to sum up we have discussed or we have understood about the different risk level of the application we have also uh, seen how to add the custom application as part of the cloud app catalog and we, are, we have also seen what are the different risk factors and based on which the risk score is flagged for the application bye till i come up with more use cases of defender for cloud apps thank you so much for watching the video good day bye